Okay. Uh, let's start. Uh, 大家好，呃、uh, ，欢迎大家在周末抽抽出宝贵的时间来参加华人抗体协会啊、uh, 的在线讲座活动。呃、uh, ，我是呃、uh, 张万东，是加拿大国家研究院的 Principal Research Officer， 也是华人抗体协会的 Volunteer。啊，今天很高兴主持本期的在线讲座。啊，本期讲座我们很荣幸的邀请到华人抗体协会企企业会员 Acrobar System 的这个 Dr. Peter 薛啊薛一平博士来为大家带来这个啊这个 Empower Future Therapeutic Therapies Innovation in Antibody Drug Development and Manufacturing 的在线讲座。啊、uh, ，首先介绍一下啊， uh, 这个华人抗体协会。啊、uh, ，华人抗体协会，呃，是一个非盈利性啊、uh, 非政府组织的公益性组织啊， uh, 是第一个，也是目前啊、uh, 唯一一个全球华人啊、uh, 抗体专业组织啊。Uh, 协会呢，侧重关注治疗性抗体。并致力于创建一个全球性平台，以促进在治疗性抗体研发、生产以及商业化等领域的合作和交流。啊，二零一八年，协会正式创刊了同行评审的英文啊专业期刊《Antibody Therapeutics》，由合作方牛津大学出版社啊主编，为这个啊抗体领域知名的学者何妙壮教授。啊、uh, ，该期刊目前已经在 PubMed 和 s c o o p i e 啊等知名科学文献数据库收录。啊、uh, ，目前协会在微信公众号和 LinkedIn 都有官方账号。啊、uh, ，欢迎大家关注。啊、uh, ，今天的讲座啊、uh, 是 Peter 啊、uh, 薛博士，那个。薛博士，啊、呃，是啊、呃，百赛呃，百普赛斯集团的市场啊、呃，产品经理啊、呃，凭借在分子生物学和生物标志物研究领域的广泛技术专业知识啊、呃、，Peter 致力于制定能在生命科学社区产生深远影响的营销战略啊、呃。曾经作名作为一名啊、呃、，field application scientist，Peter 积累了丰富的客户啊。呃技术知识经验使他能够理解并满足客户的独特需求。啊，出于对科学和营销的热情驱使，啊 ，Peter 致力于开发啊有针对性的营销举措，引领啊百赛普斯啊呃百普赛斯集团开拓新的领域，扩大品牌的影响力。啊，今天的呃讲座有啊四十五分钟。啊、呃，这个 presentation 啊、呃，在这个啊、呃、讲座啊、呃、之后呢，有呃 question and answer 啊、呃，大家有什么问题的话，可以把问题发到平台，或者是发到这个微信群里边，然后呢，我们有选择性的啊、呃，把这些问题给 Peter， 让他来回答。Now, uh, floor is yours, Peter. Please. Yep. Thank you so much for the introductions. Uh, let me share my screen. I believe that should work. Yeah, let me know. Uh, if screen look okay, then I can start. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the lovely uh this uh introductions and Cass invite me to talk about Acrobio system. Uh, again, quickly introduce myself. My name is Peter Xue. I'm the marketing product manager at Acrobio System. Um, today, um, I will briefly talk about my company Acrobio System. And what we can do for antibody development, uh, what kind of product and solution that we can provide to the audience. Yeah. So briefly, uh, Acrobat System Group is founded in 2010. Uh, we are striving to be a biotech company that aim to be a cornerstone of the global biopharmaceutical and healthcare industry. By, 
by providing uh, life science tools, solutions, and business model innovations. We primarily engage in the development of protein, antibody, reagent kits, and analytical testing service, and our latest offering, uh, gym grade manufacturing. Our offer are really designed to support therapeutic development from all phases, from discovery to commercializations. We have different products that specific design to uh, serve a different phase, including the R&D, uh, all the way to CMC, preclinical investigations, clinical trial, and more. Currently, we have 800 employees across the globe, uh, locating more than 13 different locations across Europe, North America, and China. We also published trade since 2021 on the stock exchange in China. But where we are is very important to, to our customer. Uh, we're serving our customer more uh, around the world, uh, more than 70 different countries, mainly our scientists around the world. And we also have more than 8,000 uh, different customer uh, across pharmaceutical companies, a CRO, CDMO, and biotech companies. Also, we also collaborate and work with the top 20 pharmaceutical com company in the world. Just list uh, a few of them on the right. So our core product and service are including recombinant protein, antibodies, and enzyme. But beyond this, we also offer a variety of different products to support therapeutic developments, in this case, antibody therapeutic, including kits such as cytokine detections, ADC conjugations, and ready to use ELISA kits, pre-coupled minute beads and service, such as the ADA, um, ADA developments, as well as the protein and recombinant protein antibody customization. Beyond this, we also offer overexpression cell line, uh, MSC complex, either monomer or tra uh, tetramer, and also a pathology tool such as IC antibody and uh, IVD kits development. We also offer uh, for cell modeling, uh, we also offer basement, uh, basement membrane extract and variety of different analytical service and uh, our latest GMP grade cytokine, growth factor, and more. I'll dive into those uh, pieces product line more throughout the talk. So uh, Acrobus, uh, our protein technology platform really helped enable us to focus on development of the highest quality target protein to ensure highest productivity, stability, and consistency and unique to your applications. We also uh, very, have very thorough characterizations um, and also variety of different customization options for uh, to help streamline your um, antibody therapeutic uh, developments. So at Acro, we are all about quality of our product. It's come with our quality management system to improve the level to all the way to even GMP manufacturer. We implement 10 analytical methods and our QC process over 15 different testing steps before we even release our final product. Our quality management system uh, external audit at least four different times by company such as Merck and Thermo Fisher, and uh, other pharmaceutical company. And we're also uh, open to other company to audit our facility as well. So I'd like to spend a couple of minutes just about uh, the antibody development solutions and what we can really provide to the science field. As you can see, Acrobat system, we offer a wide array of different tools and solutions spanning from discovery phase all the way to commercialization. Our product are really developed to support entire process of antibody drug um, development. Starting as a um, discovery and um, development phase, we offer a different type, type uh, target protein, including our multi-pass transmembrane protein, Checkpoint uh, immune checkpoint protein, CD3 uh, targets, and uh, CD3 bypass antibody targets, uh, tumor microenvironment protein, biomarker, and more. For ADC solutions, our, we offer ADC conjugation kits, anti payload antibodies, peptide linker protease to facilitate development of uh, antibody drug conjugates. Other tools we also offer, uh, including inhibitor uh, screening kits pre-coupled manana beads, strat evidence series of product, FC receptor proteins, and a wide range of bioterminated protein and, uh, uh, to help streamline the antibody screening process. For CMC manufacturer and CMC quality control, we offer enzyme 
for antibody characterizations, as well as residual detection kits, such as our whole cell DNA and protein kits and protein A, uh, residual protein A kits. In addition to some of our other offering, including our stable cell line and I, uh, sorry, stable cell line and IgG isotype control and cytokine detection kits. For our preclinical and clinical stage, where it can support your PK and PD assay, immunogenesis study, and the toxicity evaluations. So I break down to my talk to four major uh, steps, uh, starting with the antibody discovery, to antibody screening, uh, some antibody development and CMC, and latest are, uh, the last one will be the custom surface that we have. So let's start with the antibody discovery. For antibody discovery, we'll offer a wide range of different types of protein, like I mentioned, and let's tackle each one uh, at a time. For our transmembrane protein, uh, Acrobat system specially set three technology platform to address the complex uh, nature of the multi-pass transmembrane protein to meet the need for your different applications. Starting from the lab, detergent myocell platform, our transmembrane protein, as we know, are very, very hydrophobic, it's difficult to maintain the correct conformations to serve your need um, in a common buffer. So when you extract from the cell membrane, it's really hard to maintain that structure. This problem can be solved by addition of the detergent, uh, optimization of the detergent to help increase the solubility, ensure the native folding of the protein. Second platform we have uh, by lessons from the University, uh, University of Illinois, NanoDisc, is a synthetic a phosphol by layer membrane protein uh, that you can uh, compose a membrane a scaffold protein and phospholipid molecule. So your specific transmembrane protein can be integrated into the special structure of a nanodisc after removal of detergent. So it can still maintain the native folding, retain the higher uh, volatile activity, improve the hydrophilicity of a wide range of applications, such as immunizations, uh, ELISA assay, SPR, BLI binding uh, affinity study, cell-based assay, even CAR and verifications and detections. Last but not least, uh, our virus light particle platform, VOP. It based on our HAC-293 uh, expression system. We can express transmembrane protein, multi-pass transmembrane protein on the whole cell surface. The viral envelope protein then turned the, these cell surface into a soluble lipid by layer particle with highly concentrated protein that is suitable for our immunizations and screening because of the high immunogenicity. But other assay can be also applied such as the ELISA, SPR, and BLI, even the cell-based uh, assay. Just want to quickly uh, demonstrate some of our, what are you expecting uh, our transmembrane protein uh, on our website, including our QC data, we're ensuring the highest quality and the the purity of our product by verified by SDS, SDS page and SACMOL. For VOP product specifically, you can see we will, in order, in order to uh, maintain the high uh, uniformity, we were using DLS uh, and also electric microscopy to ensure the uniformity of the VOP and the size of the VOP. Uh, of course, bioactivity is very important to evaluate uh, the QC step. So we're also uh, routinely testing our bioactivity using ELISA and cross verified by either SPR or BOI. In this case, you can see uh, using um, SCD20 um, detergent myocell uh, product that we're using our uh, commercial available antibody uh, retrumab uh, that, that can against the anti-HIST anti uh, anti antibody. They can see very strong um, binding affinity to our CD20 uh, uh, HIST tag detergent uh, myocell protein. And also we can uh, use the CAR verifications as well. You can see uh, in this case is CD20 as, as well. You can see a uh, CAR uh, verification are being done in the cell, cell base assay. Just want to quickly go through a couple of case study. Uh, so first case study is the immunization strategy. Uh, sort of give, uh, the reason we have multiple different platforms, I think it's very helpful for immunization. Uh, first, uh, you can see using the virus light particle uh, in, for the protein is the clotin 18.2. We uh, You can see the uh, antibody of very specific against the clotin 18.2 can be identified using clotin 18, uh, 
18.2 VOP as an immunogen. However, uh, you can see the graph a little bit, uh, even the blank VOP also have a lot of antibody react to it. So the strategy is that if you uh, produce the antibody, you can use other uh, protein platform to help you to spring the correct antibody that you actually um, specific to the clotting 18.2. In this case, you can use the clotting 18.2 de uh, detergent myocell or even nano disc. In contrast, you can also uh, start with your immunogen with the clotting 18.2 uh, detergent myocell. Uh, you can see the antibody are strongly against to the, um, our uh, VOP and the de uh, detergent myocell, but as you can show, uh, show you a couple slides ago, uh, detergent myocell, uh, since they both exposed in uh, extracellular and intracellular domain. So you want to uh, pick the antibody actually specifically only bind to the extracellular domain. So in this case, using clotting 18.2 VOP as your screening strategy, that would be very suitable and specific. So I'll kind of summarize what I just say into this table. So you can start with the detergent myocell um, as a immunogen or uh, VOP. Then you can use a different strategy uh, for downstream screening to, uh, to find the best antibody more specific to the, the target protein. Second case study. Uh, so we also collect with a lot of different uh, SPR instruments. Uh, so in this case, we'll collaborate with the Kentera. So with their, they have a high throughput SPR uh, instrument uh, that's highly uh, very uh, high throughput and uh, able to generate very high quality data. So we collaborate with them uh, specifically with our CCRR5 in this case. So CCR5 uh, is a full lane transmembrane protein uh, that we can use for large uh, basically large scale characterizations for your potential drug target. So uh, our multiple transmembrane protein provide a very flexible and different type of study, including immunization and screening, like I mentioned. With this platform, transmembrane Transmembrane protein CCR5 can be worked freely just like any other uh, regular protein. Our transmembrane protein also comprehensive uh, evaluate uh, not just the um, standard SPR instrument, but also uh, high throughput. You can see they're able to provide uh, either 6X or even 72X SPR to generate a lot of data. So uh, kind of like and show our transmembrane protein are very uh, stable and consistent in those uh, even high throughput screening. Right, I want to shift gear to our next um, problem line, focus on our immune checkpoint protein. So another, um, first we offer a very extensive catalog of both co-stimulated -stimul uh, 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 molecules such as O1BB and OX40 and co-inhibitory molecules such as PD-1 and LAX3 in CTL4. As well, we also offer inhibitory um, screening kits that go with our recurrent protein. Together with all this product are suitable for a variety of different applications, uh, verification and, uh, for your antibody binding, uh, affinity assay, even cell-based assay, and, um, and pharmacokinetic uh, PK analysis. You can see the graph on the right as a um, variety of different uh, immune checkpoint protein that we provide. Besides very comprehensive list of our protein, and uh, we also guarantee the purity and verify by by uh, SDA and also um, verified by the SACMOL to ensure the molecule weight and the purity and the aggregation state of each pro uh, recurrent protein that we we'll provide. Um, they are expressed using HEC293 cell. Um, and nice thing about from ACRO is we have a specific platform to ensure the site specific labeling. So either the biotonations or you want to put Pacific 4 on the uh, on the N or C terminus, we're able to do that and guarantee that's not going to the labeling or the various different tag that we would provide. It's not going to interfere with the actual uh, structure and native structure of the protein. And of course, we're checking those bind, uh, bind, binding and bioactivity using ELISA to ensuring the, the protein itself is still bind to the, the right antibody, in this case, PD-1. Um, Beside that, we can use the BOI and SPR to cross validate um, what we see in the lines of um, binding affinity to ensure our uh, all our recurrent protein are very uh, highly biotivity. Uh, 
for um, our immune checkpoint protein, we also have a lot of additional information that we can provide, including using a naturalized, uh, naturalizing antibody binding assay and also the pharmacokinetic analysis. You can see um, the, and one thing I want to mention is all our assay that pop uh, available on our website, you can also request a protocol from us. I also include uh, a lot of different uh, uh, QR code, if you're interested in any product line that we have, please uh, scan the QR code to learn more. Um, yeah, for pharmacokinetic analysis, uh, since this audience probably not super, um, probably interested in bipacific antibody, you can see we're using bipacific antibody CTLA-4 and AX40 for this uh, analysis to show you that uh, our recurrent protein are highly reactive uh, bipacific antibody that we can also check in the PK uh, assay. Okay, uh, next I'd like to introduce you is um, the bipacific antibody targets. To accelerate the research in bipacific antibody, we also developed more than 70 different highly qual high quality bipacific antibody target protein with a lot of a variety of different species and with a lot of different attack systems that we implement. Uh, this product can be suitable for multiple different applications. Um, you probably guess it, immunizations, antibody screening, and binding affinity testing. One of the most widely studied T-cell engager in cancer immunotherapy is the CD3, a molecule that has function uh, of a stabilizing TCR structure and transmitting activation signal. So at ACRO, we have developed a series of homogeneous complex of a 5CD3 subdomain, including the CD3 delta, uh, esalon, and gamma, I also have uh, different heterodimer, including the delta and epsilon uh, heterodimers, and also the gamma and epsilon heter uh, heterodimer with very high bioactivity. This uh, protein complex are also further uh, verified one-to-one -one ratio by uh, our um, QCT. You can see the different products that we have on the right uh, left uh, as well. Yeah, um, for our recurrent protein, um, like I mentioned, we have a very extensive product uh, catalog with a very homogeneous structure. Bioactivity and consistency are very um, guaranteed. So for CD3 uh, protein specifically, we have using commercial available antibody like OKT3 to really making sure uh, our consistency and bioactivity is there. And um, for our various different uh, applications uh, for our customer, we also offer uh, different tax system, like I mentioned, that you can use for immunotiter detections, biopanning, um, antibody screening, affinity characterization, even the clinical uh, PK assay. Yep, um, just additional information such as SPR verifications, um, screening antibody using ELISA, and the PK analysis is similar to the immune checkpoint protein we have using a, a bipacific antibody. You can see the CD3 um, uh, and also the BCMA. Okay, so beyond the antibody discovery, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the antibody screening, uh, what kind of product lines that we can support this uh, um, customer needs. So uh, first is the uh, what we call uh, universal product. We have a product line called Combo X. Uh, Combo X kind of including a lot of different products, including our SC receptor proteins, uh, universal antibodies uh, like isotype control, such as antibody that against uh, anti his uh, uh, anti his antibody, anti human IgG antibody, or even uh, anti payload antibody, uh, isotype control as well. We also offer a variety of different uh, type of strap, ev strap evident products, including the protein cell conjugate with the HRP, um, label, uh, 4 4 label, uh, strap evident, even cold plate, and the manila beads. We also, for our cell culture customer um, that maybe need a little bit more support, we also have cell culture reagent available, uh, and also for T cell uh, for expansion and activation. Uh, we also offer enzyme uh, and additional ELISA kits that we'll talk about a little bit more in later slides. Let's start with the uh, RSC receptor. So SC gamma receptor are a group of cell surface protein uh, that have been found on a variety of different immune cells, such as NK cell, macrophages, 
and um, and B cell, and we can um, bound. They're actually able to bound to um, what they provide elevating signal or inhibitory signal. So I like to mention here is the name of CD sixty four, CD thirty two, and CD sixteen are the same as the FC gamma receptor one, two, and three, and this uh, name are commonly used interchangeably. So FC gamma receptor, you're probably aware, are commonly used um, um, to study the mediating uh, ADCC, like antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, which is initiated when the FAB and the FC portion of the antibody engage both tumor antigens and the activating FC gamma receptor. Some of the reason you want to um, sort of understand the FC gamma receptor binding characterization, including wild-type FC uh, gamma receptor binding determinations, positivity uh, uh, verifications uh, with different species, uh, and also the impact maybe you know, uh, introducing other FC mutations. So at Acrobot system, we offer a comprehensive collection of a recombinant FC receptor protein, which is are expressed using um, membrane cell line, ensuring the native folding and the um, post-translation modification are optimal for functionality. Um, we also offer a variety of different species, um, human, mouse, and more. And also with very high purity, um, verified by SECMOL, and also the stability are really good that we control batch to batch consistency. I, I like to also mention uh, our bicondition uh, FC receptor, uh, what we call AFITEC, are also available for easy to streamline for your any sort of detection system that you uh, also uh, all the protein. Um, just like our product line for other recombinant protein that are verified by SPR and BLI, along with the ELISA as well. Okay. Yep, just want to demonstrate with some of our QC data. Um, you can see our QC data, the FC receptor protein, um, are really good with very high uh, purity and high activity and the batch batch consistency. And you can see are really good and they're verified by SPR. In addition, I also like to uh, share a little bit uh, quick story uh, that we collaborate with Katera. So um, we collaborate with Katera and also try to verify our FC re uh, gamma receptor. Uh, actually, in this case, we uh, study 11 of them that are commercial available from ACRO. So uh, against the antibody, trastuzumab, the anti-HER2 antibody, uh, here, we are demonstrating uh, Kertera high throughput SPR, able to study all our 11 um, uh, um, FC gamma receptor. And our collaborators actually was very impressed with this data. Uh, that data surprised them uh, how tight and how reproducible all the each sensor grants are. So uh, each of the 11 uh, receptor uh, tests are able to achieve high, very high resolution. and. Uh, High resolution curve and appear hardly any different from the data that typically you generate by uh, lower throughput uh, uh, SPR instruments. And we are able to generate twice, they're able to generate twice as much data uh, and we typically see. In summary, um, one, of the, one thing I want to highlight is the acro FC gamma receptor are definitely are very consistent and actually suitable for a variety of different applications and the assay development. All right, uh, besides our FC receptor, we also over a wide variety of IGFC uh, as well. These products are available in various species uh, and it's different subclass of the IgG and come with a variety of different type options. Uh, you can see we offer uh, the IgG control. It can be only the hinge region, CH CH2, CH3, Um, sorry, checking the yeah information. Yeah, so it can be served as a uh, isotype control for monoclonal antibody, uh, IgG diabetes, uh, and I ADC and fusion uh, IgG FC drug uh, drugs as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, next uh, product line I want to mention is our strap evidence. Um, Specifically, our magnetic beads uh, that are coated with strap of evidence um, you can see is a two micron size beads 
and really perfect for uh, loading protein for a variety of different uh, applications. Um, for downstream applications, it's perfect for immunocapture, biopanning, and full cytometry, and more. Again, our uh, protocols are easy to pair with other um, biotin, uh, the antibody that we pr provided. Okay, uh, yeah. Next product line I want to introduce you is the, our clean bites. Um, it's specifically set up for uh, cytokine detection, ELISA kits. Uh, probably uh, pretty easy to understand. It's very quick and easy to use. Uh, it's under two hour assay. I think that's the biggest attractive point. Uh, we ensure it's very high batch batch consistency, a stringent uh, QC, and uh, ver uh, verified by internal team of uh, Acro. And, of course, um, with the ELISA assay base, we can ensure the high, highest quality and by testing different matrix interference, ensure uh, there's no um, issue that uh, when you're actually using our ELISA based assay. So, uh, besides the, our cytokine detection or uh, our ELISA, we also support preclinical and clinical pharmacokinetic uh, assay as well. So we have developed a variety of different ELISA kits for quantitative analysis for therapeutic antibody in serum sample. These kits are based on the compared ELISA methods that ensure low assay background. We have launched kits to study uh, immunotrepin proteins such as CTLA4, PD-1, and um, cancer target HER2 in both human and common um, disease, uh, basically uh, animal models for more kits currently under development as well. The kit uh, itself can be used for study for any antibody that shares similar binding domain as our tracer biotonic antibody. For example, our anti-PD-1 monoclonal antibody kits for human serum sample, you can see on the right uh, here, um, are having successful measure five different anti-PD-1 antibody that are either on the market already or being tested in clinical trial. All right, uh, next I'd like to share some resource and about how we can support our customer in the antibody development uh, and beyond uh, move on to the commercial um, uh, manufacturer stage. So manufacturer stage, um, for our customer that working in the antibody drug conjugate, we offer a variety of different, of course, uh, ADC target protein. Uh, this protein can be suitable for immunizations, uh, antibody screening, and cell-based assays. Uh, that we have been verified by uh, ELISA, SPR, and BRI, even uh, cell-based assay. Besides, we also offer protease and peptide linker and ADC conjugation kits as well, but anti-payload antibodies. You can see um, a lot of different um, important uh, ADC targets that have been listed here. They are available on our website. Okay, next I want to focus on is the anti-payload antibody. To assist our PK, uh, our customer is interested in the PK study, we evaluate your ADC, then we now offer several different anti-payload antibody with high affinity that bind to specifically including MMAE, DXD, DM-1, and SN38. And we also like to mention we offer HRP uh, conjugate anti-MMAE uh, antibody as well to eliminate the need of uh, secondary antibody. So beside that, we also have uh, two antibody drug conjugate kits available on our website that are utilizing uh, actually glycan modifications and remodeling. So you can actually do it in your own lab. Uh, so we offer uh, MMAE as a payload, either DART2 or DART4. Those two kits are very easy to use. You can basically conjugate your antibody uh, with the MAE payload uh, uh, under basically a three days process. Um, and several different highlights for the kits feature, including our high, uh, very high conjugation efficiency. Um, of course, guaranteed the high uh, 
homogeneous uh, UV or final product um, that ensure the dark value are consistent. Again, um, I mentioned our the payload will be MAAE and very highly stable and conjugate final product. We actually um, like to demonstrate, you can see um, we're able to do this uh, in our own lab using stress root map, either um, either DART2 or DART4 MAAE uh, payload being uh, conjugated uh, against the uh, HER2 antibody, uh, HER2 protein uh, using those uh, antibodies, either with payload or without the payload. Yeah, so for our customer that are interested in to characterize their antibody drug better to understand individual uh, PDM, um, we also have two enzymes available, including endo-H and endo-S. So of course, glycosylation on uh, antibody special SC region are very important. So you can uh, use those two antibody, uh, you use, use these two enzymes to study your antibody. So endo-H uh, will uh, cleave up preferred end glycans uh, with high mannose structure or hybrid structure. And the endo S in contrast will focus on more uh, prefer cleaving the complex structure of the uh, glycans. Besides glycosylations, uh, we also have two enzymes available for subunit fragmentation. Uh, so, so called SACB that can digest IgG, the generated FAB and FC fragment. Uh, fragment. Um, so the cleaving step uh, sites basically are uh, sort of sort of above the hinge region of the uh, typical IgG antibody. IDS, uh, on the other hand, uh, that can cleave right below the hinge region. So depending what you're looking for, uh, we all have also have two this, uh, these two enzymes available. Besides our enzyme product, I'd like to also uh, just spend a couple minutes on our residual detection kits, especially for commercial uh, manufacturer. Uh, even you may start manufacturing your own uh, antibodies, um, it's critical to sort of evaluate the purity of your antibody, right? So we also offer a lot of different residual detection kits, including our residual cytokine detections um, for common cytokines uh, used for cell, more like a cell therapy but it can be also applied depending on your needs. I like to mention the uh, residual whole cell DNA detection. So uh, for your antibody that expressing either E. coli, HAC293, or CHO cell, those the DNA, uh, residual DNA detection are very useful. Also the residual enzyme detection. So if you have um, in any interest in DNAs detections, RNAs, or even nucleus detections are available for on our website as well. I'd like to spend uh, just maybe a minute about uh, residual protein A detection that we started offering uh, late last year. So of course, protein A um, are important to making sure the residual protein A are uh, eliminated from your antibiotic uh, drugs uh, because pure, uh, protein A purification columns are a key quality control step uh, that you want to make sure uh, it's not in your final antibody drug preparation. So we're able to Show, showcase here uh, the high uh, buffer comp compatibility across the most frequent use buffer uh, that uh, either recombinant protein A uh, and also our recovery rate uh, are really good. Uh, you can see almost like close to 100%. Okay, uh, next I like to uh, mention a little bit more about our custom surface as well. So our custom protein service, uh, what to expect? So if you are not able to find your protein, your interest uh, on our website and, and on a typical catalog, you can actually uh, request a custom service. Um, so our custom service are very, uh, very uh, I would say very comprehensive. So we can uh, provide very specific specifications that you, for your needs, uh, not just the protein itself, but what kind of tax system, expression system, um, or different uh, specifications such as endotoxin level, purity, bioactivity, and also uh, what's most important is what the application would be. Um, at the average lead time for recombinant protein uh, service, or eight to 10 weeks, and 
essentially there will be a really low or almost free uh, R and D fee for our protein developments that we can uh, based on the similar catalog offering that we have. So. And the nice thing is that it will provide uh, just like pretty standard to our uh, catalog reagents. We have provide the COA, stability report, and formulation. So you basically can use that, uh, just feel pretty comfortable as a regular product. Late last, uh, also starting last year, we also provide recombinant antibody development service as well. So if you are interested to uh, have antibody developments, uh, you can also give us a uh, give us some uh, information. Then we can produce a full uh, full length monoclonal antibody, FHH, FABs, or uh, SC, SCFBs and diabetes as well. Uh, I like also like to mention um, one of the most uh, requested service that we have actually our anti uh, anti oops sorry and uh, ADA. Uh, anti-EDO typic antibody development service. Uh, we offer a monoclonal or polyclonal service. Um, along with the antibody itself, we also um, have assay development capability that you can generate along with your antibody for your needs. Another service that's really popular from ACRO is our SPR and BLI service. Uh, so, Either SPR are capable, uh, we are capable to run in our US lab, and the BLI are capable in our Chinese lab as well. And the nice thing is about it, uh, the service is that all acro protein supply are free. You can use the acid receptor protein that I provide, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, also are free of charge in our own service lab. Yep. And in this slide, I like to also quickly mention our uh, sort of business model. And we're always looking for collaborations. So either through custom service or through our innovation lab or even scale up product to work with potential partner to help serve our customer. So every uh, collaborated company, so if you are interested to work with us either through products or developments, or anything, uh, uh, reach out and that we have uh, a lot of different capability that we can collaborate with. Another thing I have to highlight in our uh, a wide range of capability and products are GMP grade manufacturing ability to really support customers that need a subculture reagent such as cytokine and growth factor. We understand GMP grade product might not be uh, everyone's looking for. So we also have uh, actually three different tier of a recombinant protein, um, like uh, as typical as our U research use only and GMP, but we also have this mid, uh, middle tier called Premier. So Premier peer, uh, grade protein uh, basically are free P, uh, GMP that you can add as an intermediate for you use to transition for clinical to clinical phase. Uh, for our GMP product, uh, you can see we're really focused on growth factor, return protein. We also have antibody for cell grade uh, beats and, and enzyme and uh, if it's something that you want to be custom, we also have custom GMP protein development. So just quickly highlight for all our protein uh, that in GMP and development phase, uh, you can see we have uh, focused on a lot of different growth factors in stem cell, immune cell, uh, or even organoid related, uh, and also the neuron cell. So we are strive to be a, a, a supplier of a GMP grade uh, protein uh, and growth factor. So uh, quickly, um, I think the second to the last of my slide, I want to just want to really mention uh, why you should choose working with us. Uh, this slide kind of simplify our core value from better design. Our product are, are developed for our customers' application in mind. And second, uh, better quality. We hold our product to the highest standard for stringent QC to really ensure the consistency. Uh, better response, I think that's the key point. Uh, our facility across the globe provide fast and reliable uh, product support and deliver for professional customer service. And better support, our experimental data protocol uh, and technical notes are readily available for, for our customer to assess. Okay. 
So thank you for listening uh, attend this webinar today. Uh, as the token of our appreciations, we have prepared 10 uh, Amazon gift card for a special giveaway. So uh, if you have a chance, please feel free to scan the QR code on the left uh, to enter the chance to win. Also, if you are interested in to talk, uh, more talk from Acrobile system, your engagement and interest inspires us to continue sharing our insight. Um, so across different, different type of research, we invite you to stay tuned for our upcoming presentation, focus on the exciting realm of cell and gene therapy. Uh, simply scan the QR code on the right to learn more and dive deeper to the, uh, the field of the cell therapy. With that, uh, really thank you for listening. Um, and this kind of simplify our acro are able to do from research development, we're able to um, provide different solution and tool to all the way to your know, clinical, um, even INDs, uh, I guess, applications. So thank you uh, for listening today. Uh, if you have any question, I have to take some. Thank you. Thank you, Peter, very much uh, for the excellent uh, presentation. Uh, it appears that uh, Acrobile systems cover wide range of uh, product lines and uh, services uh, uh, from uh, antibody discovery to antibody screening from preclinical to clinical phase. Uh, so thank you. Uh, now, uh, questions and the answers. So we have a question here. Uh, the first one is, uh, what's the purpose of anti-payload antibody? And have you explored its efficacy in lower anti uh, ADC toxicity? Yeah, uh, that's an excellent question. Thank you for uh, um, whoever asked me that question. Yeah, so um, for my understanding, for anti-payload antibody, uh, probably want to conjugate a payload to the antibody that specific to uh, specific disease. Uh, a lot of literature I read about is to be a, a specific cancer that you want to target, right? So the antibody will recognize the specific cancer. So the payload uh, basically digest by the cell, um, basically depend on the mechanism of flow that was basically kill the cell. So the cancer would not continue to grow and spread to, uh, throughout the body. Uh, for the second part of the question is that if, uh, have I, um, or I guess the acrobus is explore the efficacy of the lower ADC toxicity. Yeah, that, that we are, that's definitely something that I've been thinking about um, from the standpoint of a developed different tool and service um, from acrobus system. I haven't seen too many uh, available uh, resource from our web, website that kind of like tackle this point. So I will reserve my uh, answer. Um, to learn more. So feel free to reach out to our technical team, uh, see what kind of product you're looking for, then maybe study the uh, how to lower ADC toxicity. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, another question here. Could you share insights on the production of antibodies with extended half-life? Specifically, how can K on, K off, and FCR mediated recycling uh, be improved in the process? Yeah, that's an excellent question. So, uh, yeah, that's exactly why we offer a uh, pretty extensive range of SC uh, gamma receptor, uh, especially the SCRN. Um, so that from my understanding, that's sort of understanding your antibody half-life. Uh, so um, yeah, and we work with a lot of different instrumentations, um, published uh, like I mentioned, Katera and more uh, different kind of SPR, BLI, uh, Company that you can actually study the uh, K on and K off, maybe some instrumentation that can actually give you very precise uh, measurements of your antibody. So you can use our SCR uh, uh, recombinant protein for this uh, purpose. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, another question How does Acrobios system commitment to quality control? and product customization address the challenges faced by the researchers in the development of antibody drugs? Yeah, uh, excellent question. Thank you for that. Um, so I will break down a couple 
level. So first level, of course, our product, like I mentioned, we have 16 quality uh, controls or management system to really make sure our product is very consistent, uh, maintain the biofitty in your hand and optimizations uh, for cross different variety of different QC methodologies that we implement. Like I say, um, a lot of different product, I know kind of redundant, but I, um, I think it's critical to making sure the highest quality product, checking the biofitty with SPR, uh, ELISA, BLI, and other, um, other technique um, that you can actually trust our product to the highest level. Second level is, I guess, uh, we also offer a lot of customizations available to our proteins, right? So that allow our customer to uh, sort of overcome some of the specific challenge that may be faced in the uh, antibody drug development pipeline. So that that's something that I like to also mention. We have not just the protein, but a variety of different, uh, different tag, different uh, um, system that you can actually use for different applications. So you can actually uh, understand your our protein better for your antibody drug. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay, here another question. What says Acros portfolio reagents supporting antibody drug development apart from other supplies in the field? Oh, awesome. Thank you for that question. Yeah, so I, the reason I uh, left my talk um, back to this page is that is really commitment to the quality, right? So uh, quality of the protein design throughout the whole stage from R&D, uh, even our productions um, that can really support our customer that can trust our product from the research development phase to even CMC and clinical trial. We really have very diverse product applications in mind that we important to communicate with our customer what their needs uh, and actually design better product to actually support that will really truly uh, from discovery to commercialization. And also, i like to uh, mention, I go through a lot of a variety of different uh, array of a product today. So those products are aimed to support you uh, antibody drug development stage and really focus on different points that you want to make um, throughout your different, uh, I guess, different uh, question that you run into during the developments. All right, uh, thanks. Okay, yeah. here here is another question. Are you involved in the development of the FAB R for T cell engagers? Excellent questions. Yeah, so from my understanding from your questions, I would say, uh, personally, I'm not in the lab anymore. So I would say I'm not involved in the actual development anymore. Uh, but yeah, so our uh, a lot of protein, right? I mentioned a few, the immune checkpoint protein and the uh, popular by specific antibody or even tri-specific antibody uh, or different biologics uh, now state that in the development, I think, yeah, those proteins are serve as a foundations that you can study different T-cell engager, right? So you actually see the affinity are, are good for your uh, T-cell engager either by specific manner or different biologics. So we provide the foundation of the protein that you can study, uh, yeah, so those are biologic better. Okay, thanks. Uh, I think the last question here is, uh, how do you envision the future of antibody drug development? How is Acro uh, working uh, to evolve with the trend of the field? Yeah, yeah, thank you for that question. So a few things I can think of on top of my head, be, uh, a lot of trend of the reason we have antibody discovery and it's really, try to move toward to the personalized medicines right? and also use the uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning. We can have better idea about uh, the antibody that we uh, develop and faster to, to get there to a novel antibody that we discover. Um, so either uh, I mentioned a few times by passive antibody, but this tri passive antibody, a lot of different type of biologics that could be quicker to, uh, to get into the, uh, I guess, to the patient one day. Uh, in terms of acro, how to acro manage and evolve, I guess is really come down to our customer and our relationship with our customer. We always listen to our customer uh, to understand what it needs, right? So we have uh, a lot of R&D capability to design uh, and try to catch up with our customer need. I think that's the key. So for anybody drug development space, to understand our customer, uh, what are the target protein, for example, or what kind of supporting solution that you need 
to help streamline your process uh, faster. I think that's something that we, we can, can keep evolving. Uh, as I see in the next slide, I think kind of a sample of that is really, uh, yeah, we try to uh, support you from discovery to all the way to clinical study. In order to do that, we have a lot of different solutions. And uh, I think I will leave on this uh, page so I can uh, let more people participate on our, our uh, sort of marketing initiative, so. Yes, uh, thanks. Oh, we got another question here. Uh, do you use uh, King XA to overcome overcome SPRSC limitations? Hmm. That's a great question. I don't have an answer at the moment, but okay. it would be a great, great way to, um, yeah, go back to our internal team that uh, our SPR expert uh, try to understand uh, uh, what's, uh, yeah, for that question, I probably need a little bit more help on the technical side. Yeah. So I apologize and I will answer on, on the spot here. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I think. Uh... Uh, or seminar uh, uh, finished here. Uh, so thank you, Peter. Thank you very much for the excellent uh, seminar today. So uh, finally, I'd like to thank uh, our uh, volunteers here. This uh, web webinar Zhu Liu Liu Xiaoxiang, Wang Chunjiao. Uh, webinar, uh, 报道这个刘孝祥, 朱高峰, 还有banner, 设计这个吴思源, 这个网站更新, 刘小峰, uh, 微信宣传, 天博, uh, link, LinkedIn宣传, 马杰, 微信编辑, 张向阳, uh, That's all for today. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, good morning and good night.